today we're gonna go ahead and walk around this place check it out relax and also take some time and smell the roses <laughs> Today is our last day here in Portland, Oregon. Anyways, the plan for today, we wanted to take it easy. So we just wanted to go ahead and visit uh, two gardens that are really famous to this city. One of them is the International Rose Test Garden and the other one is the Portland Japanese Garden. And both of these are located in Washington Park, which is where we are going today. This is our bus. We'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, you guys, we made it here to Washington Park. We're gonna go ahead and walk. I think we need to get through uh, other like places within Washington Park in order to get to the garden. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. guys to the international rose test garden here in washington park and uh, as we make our way over to the roses i would like to share with you guys a little bit about the history and a few facts uh, regarding this place so in 1915 jesse a curry the current portland rose society a president at the time decided to try and convince portland city officials to institute a place like this a sanctuary for roses that were born in Europe. So why is that you might ask? Well, during that time, World War I was going on. So she wanted to take a step to try and preserve the specimens born in that particular area in the world. Rose enthusiasts around that era were afraid that roses and all of those other unique specimens were gonna get lost due to the bombings and all of the different things that were going on during the time. The project was accepted in 1917 and as early as 1918 hybrids from England started sending roses all the way over here. Ten years before this place was proposed there was an event here in Portland called the Lewis and Clark Centennial Exhibition. This was in 1905 and during this time the people in Portland lined up 20 miles in the streets with rose bushes. That is what gave Portland the name or the nickname the city of roses. So this was way before the rose garden was even a thing. The creation of the test garden here in Portland only served uh, to solidify that reputation but now in an even more international sense. As I mentioned before, in 1918 the rose garden started receiving flowers from all around the world. There were growers from England, Ireland, Washington, Los Angeles and all Eastern United States. So you can rest assured that they have a great selection right here. It's not just the roses though, just the nature of Washington Park is enough to come here and take a few pictures. When the Rose Garden became active, Jesse A. Curry became the first uh, rose curator and he did that all the way until he died in 1927. So he had a happy ending, he had a vision, he committed to it and today this is one of Portland's most famous places to come here and visit. If you look at like Portland travel websites, this is gonna be one of the places on the top of the list. And I mean, you can easily see the reason why. It's a beautiful place, beautiful place to take pictures, to just hang out, relax. And it's not just about the roses. Washington Park overall is just a great place to visit. This is one of the main reasons why the the city is nicknamed the city of roses. Today we're gonna go ahead and walk around this place, check it out, relax, and also take some time and smell the roses. That one actually smells really good.
out. This place is completely filled with rose bushes. And if you are so inclined to know more about the specific flowers, you can go down, check out the name and look it up and learn things about it. I think that's a cool game to play if you want to learn more about each individual flower. But like I said, there's 670 different varieties, so that might take you a very long time. I don't think my camera is giving it justice. It looks so saturated in color and this is not the only one. Let me show you other ones. If you don't like red, you can come over here and you can check out the pink ones. Look at these. There's some yellow ones too. There's some like mixed color ones. This is like a mix of yellow and orange and red. Other mixed ones over here that look super fancy. Check them out. Check it out. This one is like, I'm here. I'm a rose. And I'm here. Check it out, you guys. More roses as far as the eye can see. I'm gonna go check out what people are checking out over there. Also, uh, when you hear people speak, you can hear different languages. So that means that a lot of people from all around the world come here to check the roses, to check all the different variety of plants that they have in this park and in the garden. It's nothing really, it's just a road. So I'm gonna go back to the roses. The plan was to um, also visit the Japanese garden before we left, but there's not much time. We wanna go and uh, buy some stuff at the mall, some souvenirs. So I don't think uh, we'll have enough time if we attempt to go to the Japanese garden. So we're just gonna call it quits and just visit the flower test garden for today. Now we have to go over and catch the bus right at the entrance of the park. Whoa, I just got here to the amphitheater. Um, I told you guys I was gonna come check it out and I'm not gonna break my promise. I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the central uh, stage and check out how it looks from that angle. We made it to the bottom. Whoa, it's so wet. Oh my God, it looks like a mini swamp, but look at my shoes. Yep, they're ruined. That was my mistake, but I'm gonna do it for the vine, make it all the way to the end, just for you guys. So like the video, every like in this video goes to buying a pair of shoes for myself. Check this place out, you guys. This angle is pretty crazy. You get to see everything from here. It also gives you the vibe that you're gonna like start like a concert or something. <laughs> it's really nice and you can see like the backstage is over there. That's really cool. My girlfriend is looking at me from the distance. She's signaling that we have to go now so he can catch the bus. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and go through this swamp once again. Now I just need to head upstairs. It's crazy how all this time here in Portland I never got my shoes wet. Like it's, It was raining the first day but it wasn't that bad and the day that i would never expect to get my shoes wet i stepped on the wrong grass and i get wet wow <laughs> That is the end for the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, I'm gonna ask you to please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this one. As I always say, it's always a blast to bring you guys along with me. Hopefully you guys think the same thing. Anyways, I just wanna remind you guys to be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time. <music>